Hi Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for January 8th through January 14th. Now this is for the sign of Aries. It may not resonate with you because it's not a private reading. Just take what does and leave the rest. I have done a general reading as well, so if you want to look for that to get more of a general rather than just love, I uh, that's my newest thing. I have pre-shuffled this deck, but I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment more. Aha! This is a love reading. Let's try to make it lovely. Oh! You had this in your general reading? No, you didn't. You had this one in your general reading. Well, let me just make sure that is focused. Oh my God. Okay. So anyhow, it, the basis of your reading is the four of, uh, of wands. Okay. That is, that's great. That's commitment. That's content. You may be feeling very content. Okay. You may be coming together with somebody that you are meant to be with. Okay, you may be, because look at those doves. I mean, you may be coming together with somebody, committing to somebody that you are meant to be with after a period of procrastination. Maybe you didn't know. Maybe you weren't sure. Maybe you, you weren't, uh, you had your blindfold on. You didn't really know if you should do this. You were unsure of, you know, if this person was the one, you know. It feels like you could be coming together with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, could be a, an air sign, uh, Aries, Libra, uh, Aries, what the hell? Air gets me every time. Air sign, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, could be really any sign because I don't like to say that. But I feel like you guys have had your doubts. You've had your doubts about this. Um, whether this was love or whatever. What the hell was this? What is it love or is it not? Perhaps you were involved in a situation that really wasn't love and now you are going to be connecting with your true love, okay? I do feel like there's been some betrayal that comes to light. Um, this betrayal could be coming from a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I mean, we have that on both sides, okay? Some betrayal that could come to light. Um, it could come from any other sign too, so don't, don't just hold it in there. Um, but I feel like it's really time for you to um, speak your truth okay and do the right thing for you it's it's really time for you to honor yourself love yourself um, do what's right for you and I know I'm repeating myself so you guys don't have to tell me that um, I feel like you guys are really feeling quite abundant this week there's like an overload of abundance okay and I know this is supposed to be a love reading you could be somebody could be moving in somebody could be moving out I feel like you guys are are on the verge of starting a new chapter and you know in the other in the in the general reading we had the death card which was you know a new a transformation you're on the verge of a transformation with this world card here is it's telling me that you are still holding on to something you're still you haven't quite learned the lesson you quite you haven't quite stepped over the finish line over regarding some kind of past love that didn't work out it's like you just haven't quite let it go yet you haven't quite learned the karmic lesson Okay? You've been procrastinating letting, from letting it go. You've been pretending. You've been waiting. You've been um, blocking out the truth of a situation, perhaps out of fear. Blocking out the fact that you, know, you have to be honest with yourself. You have to do the right thing for you. You have to um, take the intellectual approach okay but it feels like many of you have been trying to take the the kind-hearted approach rather than the intellectual approach you're trying to not break somebody's heart okay but the fact of the matter is you're only betraying yourself by not being practical by not doing the practical thing it's time for you to be practical it's time for you to um, It's, it's time for you to be compassionate with yourself. 
okay? It is, and it's time for you to make a decision, all right? It's decision-making time. What are you gonna do, okay? You guys have been in this stalemate of indecision. You want this, you want this connection, you want this contentment, you want this commitment, and you probably have several choices, several, several um, suitors, but you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. The thing is, is, is you, it's time for you to take the most practical, responsible approach, okay? It, it really feels like you, it's decision making time. It's time to stop procrastinating. Love is here. If you're looking for love, it's in your hands. But you're stalling the process. You're not letting it in. You're not letting it in. Let's clarify some of these. What's this Four of Pentacles? What the? Oh, Four of Wands. You're resisting. Four of Pentacles is resisting. That's why I said that. Fuck. Excuse my language. But that's why I said it. It's resisting. You're resisting love. Because you just, you're, you want, you're, you can't let go of something. You just can't let go. It's for some reason you want to carry something or you want to carry somebody. You just can't let something go. A responsibility. You, you feel like it's your responsibility to, to carry people. You feel like it's your responsibility to stay stuck in a in a spot that doesn't serve you, that, that where there's betrayal and sneakiness and lies and deceit. Where's your compassion for yourself while you're holding on to this this heavy load? It is time to have compassion for yourself. It's time for you to complete this vicious cycle. It's time for you to let go. It's time for you to let it end. Okay? It's time for you to let it in. You know, I feel like you, you've been, you feel like you've been defeated. And if you let this stuff go, that you've, that you've uh, let somebody down. If you let go and you follow your heart, you let somebody down. What about you? It's time for you to do what's right for you. It's time for you to do the right thing for you, Aries. For you. We're gonna see what we can get with these angel romance cards. We're gonna—I mean, I, it looks like you have the opportunity to connect with a soulmate, okay, with somebody that you are meant to be with, but you're resisting it. Like I said, with the Four of Pentacles, you are resisting it because you feel like if you head in that direction, you're gonna let somebody else down. You have a soulmate that's waiting for you. But the thing is, is you have to make the decision. You have to decide. If you don't head in that direction, then, you know, what can we do about it? Okay? So, anyway, for somebody that's watching this, you're stuck someplace because of children. Maybe you feel like you're going to let your children down. If you do the right thing for you, you have a soulmate that's waiting for you. Okay, you do. But you have to make the decision ASAP. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Make the decision. Do the right thing for you. Your love life is being affected by children. You feel like you're going to let your children down if you head towards your soulmate? If you let go of whatever it is that doesn't serve you? Or, you know, if you don't have children, maybe it's your parents. You feel like you're going to let your parents down? You're the child. You know, if you head towards this other person, you know, you might have to leave your parents behind. It's time to do the right thing for you. It's time to have compassion for yourself. It's time for you to love yourself. Okay? It's time to do the right thing for you. Make the decision so that your soulmate comes to you now. You have to decide what you want. It's all in your hands. 
Oh my God. That's not what we wanted to see. Hostilities. Let's read it. <laughs> defenses up. Yeah, your defenses are up. There's no doubt about it. Aggressive energy. This card shows a man raising his sword in readiness to do battle. When it comes upright, it reveals a situation where hostilities toward you are about to be or have already been engaged. The aggressive energy may be verbal or emotional with someone in your environment being excessively critical, demanding, or hurtful. In a work or social situation, there may be backstabbing or out or an out and out slander going on. I told you you've been deceived, and you're and, and you know that you have, but you've been staying stuck there because you feel guilty for one. You know that you're being deceived, but for some reason you're in denial and you don't want to let it go. You're trying to fix it before you go. Alright. I'm going to finish reading this now. This is different from the deceit card because the hostile energies are more apparent, more apparent, more overt. In fact, you have met, you have, you may have been living with them for some time. I think you have. You guys have been dealing with this for a long time. I know you have. But whether this is a new or old energy, now is the time to regain control. Allow, allowing dishonoring treatment from others is an open invitation to the universe to send you more. It may feel risky, but you need to have the courage to stand up for yourself now and always. You do. It's time for you to stand up for yourself. And I believe I said that in the uh, in the general reading. You have to stand up for yourself. So watch the general reading very soon. Make the decision to leave this situation. It is a hostile situation. It's your time to do the right thing for you. There's no need to hang on to it anymore. You have a soulmate waiting for you. If you just let go of whatever this is you've been hanging on to, it's not your responsibility to fix it. But you think it is, but it's not. It's time for you to love yourself so that somebody else can love you. This is what I have, Aries. Talk to you later.